so um, here we have another artwork, which is called This Land is Your Land. Um, and uh, a lot of interesting mathematics to this exhibit. Um, first off, uh, what uh, structure uh, is the, the representational aspect of this artwork? Um, what kind of structure is that uh, that we see here? Where would we see this structure? What, what, would, it, what would it represent? Oh yeah, a water tank, water tower on top of a building, exactly. And so now, um, of course, in representational art, uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly faithful. It can, you know, they say that art imitates life, or is it life imitates art? I'm not quite sure. And we say that math imitates life, or is it the life imitates math? Again, I'm not quite sure. But so there is a linkage between math and art. So anyhow, here's a photograph of an actual water tower on a building. And I don't know if any of you are close enough to notice one detail about the actual structure of a real water tower that differs rather markedly between this real water tower and the, art, the artistic ones uh, behind me. Uh, do you have a suggestion? Yes, exactly. So the two things that are mentioned is this one has a ladder because in real life you have to actually be able to get up to the water tower in case maybe it gets a plug, you know, gets plugged up or something. And the artist didn't feel that was a detail that contributed to this artwork. And the other is that the, you can see the spacing of these bands gets closer and closer together in the real life water tower uh, as compared to this artistic one. And why does anybody think that that, that that might be that difference? Any suggestions? Okay, yeah, that's one possibility. And again, to, to keep this brief, because this art just doesn't hold water. Ha ha ha. So this actually has to hold water. And what happens when you hold water? You get more and more pressure as you go down. And in fact, the pressure increases linearly with the depth in the tank. But the spacing that you need between bands to hold in that pressure increases inversely proportionally to the pressure in the tank. And so this is one of the few places in real life these bands essentially give you a graph of 1 over x that you see in real life. So in a real life wall tower, we'll see what amounts to a graph of 1 over x. Since he's not actually holding water, he doesn't need to, uh, to have the spacing. And this to him was the conception of what a water tower looked like.